Hey everybody, welcome to another review. Um, you might notice that I'm going to review Aminet Protect again. Well, the reason I'm going to do that is because I actually got a uh, trial, 7 day license to the pro version. Uh, I'm going to open it up right now so you can see that this is, or the plus, or whatever you want to call it. And you can tell it's that version because I have access to all of these settings and I get the extra uh, detection engine so it's been installed it's been updated it's, um, I just updated all the signatures and everything so it might take a second here to check against the signatures there you go so let's see how it does I have um, I don't know, 13, 14, fairly new malware here. Some is very, very new. Uh, some are a little bit older. Apparently some of them don't even work anymore. That's nice. Okay, that one was detected. Okay, it says set up casino is fine. Okay, that's weird. We'll just keep going here. Okay, that one was blocked. I don't think Keyfinder was a bad file. I think I missed that one originally. Let's keep going here. Whatever that was, was installed. B7. And so was that one. Doesn't seem to be protecting that well, does it? I know these are malware.
Whoop, it's taken off by itself. Hope oh, did you see the cursor? That's kinda of funny. some odd reason that one was screwed up. Okay, so I ran everything here. I think this PC is thoroughly infected now. This is very annoying. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a deep scan. Because I can. I'll do a full scan. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna first do a rootkit scan, and then I'm gonna do a uh, full scan. So I'll be back after the rootkit scan. Okay, the rootkit scan completed. Didn't find anything. Uh, so now I'm gonna do a full system scan, and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so um, the scan's finally completed, and it said it found 29 things. So let's see what it found here. Okay, I don't think it... Oh, this one. Okay, I don't think I can see it. Okay, I guess it won't show me what it found. That's kind of annoying. I wish it could show me the threats that it found. Yeah, that's really annoying that I can't see what it found. Because if I just click close, it closes it out. Okay, so it found stuff. Um, what? I don't know. Because it won't tell me. Uh, but that's fine. I'm gonna um, go and start scanning. Uh, I'm gonna go grab C Cleaner and uh, clean that out. And then I'm gonna do a scan with uh, Malwarebytes. And I'll be back after Malwarebytes scans. Okay, guys, so take a look at how many infections Malwarebytes found 41. I haven't seen this many in a long, long time. So let's see what we got here. We have, let's uh, arrange these by vendor. So we have a ton of registry key changes that were changed. We have a folder, we have a, we have more registry keys, we have a file, that's all adware. More adware here, registry key, folder, files, uh, rootkit, rootkit dropper, rogue antivirus suite, malware trace, trojan.agent, um, let's see what else. Trojans, Trojans, files, registry keys. I mean, this is just a nasty infection here on this computer. So, uh, yeah. Gives you an idea of how well uh, Aminet Protect actually didn't protect this PC. Oof. So I'm going to remove all these, and because we have, we have memory uh, things, I'm going to reboot. And then I'm going to do a scan with Hitman Pro, and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, real quick. I decided after reboot to do another scan with Malwarebytes because I found so many things. And look, I found three more things. And there you go. And the root kit. found another root kit. And a couple more Trojans. So I'm going to remove these. I'm going to restart again because I found a root kit. And then I'll do another scan with Malwarebytes. And if that comes clean, I'm going to scan with Hitman Pro. And then I'll come back either way after one of those finishes. Okay, so let's go over the results. Malwarebytes once again found a rootkit. And for some odd reason, it can't get rid of it. But I did a scan with Hitman Pro, and it did find a rootkit. Found a rootkit there. Uh, possible variant, uh, you can see them right here in the drivers. Then I did a scan with uh, Gmer here, which is a rootkit software. And look. It found a rootkit, suspicious modification. So, uh, definitely it failed. 
take care guys uh, this video is already running over the time allotted and I'll talk to everybody later